All right, this is part two. Now, what I've done is I've glued the KF2 or one on top of the uh, foam board. I'm going to start with a one, see how it flies, and then uh, nothing stopping me from just slapping that other one on um, right after a first flight or whatever after I made in it. I'll just see how it flies. This way I know it'll fly. I've never done a two. So um, basically, you want to just put a lot of glue on there. You gotta hurry because the glue dries quick. So after that, I just lay a nice bead down. Uh, let's see if you can get it here. Nice bead down, and then I smoothed it out right along the edges here, and that should hold it down pretty good. Um, then you want to run your sandpaper and just smooth it out to your liking. You know, get it nice and smooth in there. Uh, if you want, you can lay a piece of uh, tape over this uh, to cover any of these like little marks or whatever. Um, it's up to you clear tape, duct tape, whatever, uh, just to get a nice smooth surface. But basically what you want it to look like on the edge is just like that. Nice smooth so that the air takes a longer path over the top and creates lift on the bottom. KFM airfoil. Very easy. Uh, this goes out, this, uh, this design is actually a uh, RC test flights design. Um, both these designs actually. Um, and that design over there is an RC test flight. Uh, it's one of my favorite YouTube. Uh, that and Ali Ashmo, he's another one, and Mikey's RC. Shouts out to you guys. Keep doing what you do.